Hello guys, welcome to iDigital Concept YouTube channel. I am happy to have you again. If you are here for the very first time, kindly go to the subscribe button now and hit it. Also, remember to hit the notification bell to get updates as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you very much. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get free online cloud storage spaces in gigabyte yes you had me right you can actually get free online spaces to store your document to store your files in gigabytes and not in megabytes benefits of online storage spaces or cloud storage spaces are number one it saves you the cost of purchasing physical storage Many of us have memory cards and hard disks and flash drives and other storage devices piled up in our houses, in our offices. And these are meant to keep our documents and files safe from theft and corruption. But with the use of cloud storage platforms, you can actually save your money to do something else apart from buying memory devices you can actually use online storage platforms to keep your folders and this will actually save you of some of your hard end money the second point is that any file you save on the cloud storage platforms are universally accessible so far you have internet connection with you the only thing you will need to access your files and documents is internet connection and browsing device either your computer or your mobile phone which those are the things you will ever need to access the files and documents you save on cloud storage platforms the third point is that they are easy to recover and also you back up easily Keeping files and retrieving your files on cloud storage platforms is very easy. Just like if you save your documents and uh, files on physical memory storage devices. So the fourth point is that you can easily synchronize your files and documents to save on online storage platforms that is to say that you can actually add files on automatic mode to your online storage spaces this will be an automatic process and if you are shuffling between one device and the other it will be possible for you to keep your document and your files in only one account without switching to another account on different devices yes you had me right on different devices you can use just one account then the last advantage i will be talking about is security you can be sure that your files are safe and secure what so ever thing affects that affects your maybe smartphone or your personal computer will not be able to affect the files that you store on cloud storage devices having talked about the benefits or the advantages of using online storage spaces The first one is Mega and your website is www.mega.io You can see the link here on the URL So Mega is a secure storage and communication platform that is cloud based and what they have for you is that 
you can create a mega account and get 20 gigabytes free storage i think that is massive and they should be uploaded for that all right and um, if you want to compare mega with other storage devices they actually beat some other platforms hands down in few areas you can check this panel here dropbox offers you one terabyte per month for this particular cost and then um, google drive offers you one terabyte per month for this particular cost but see the level of discount that mega offers you you can pay this considerable amount for the same service and you get up to 80 percent discount on your service another advantage of mega is that you have access to their desktop application mobile application their cmd and their extension so if you actually do not want to download their application to your desktop or your laptop you can download and add their extension to your browsers like chrome and like firefox so you can just get your hands on mega and try it out i have an account with them personally you can see the number of their users according to the statistics displayed on their website they have 228 million 205 and they have this particular number of files or documents that has been uploaded to their platform the second platform i would like to recommend to you is drop box what do i call it yeah dropbox you get it right dropbox only offer you a total storage space of two gigabytes per account this is relatively small compared to what mega and other platforms offer you but because it is free who doesn't like free things so i think it is still good that is the uh, amount of storage space they can offer you for now maybe probably they are going to review it later on but you have other advantages also you can store and synchronize your files you can share your files with other dropbox users and non dropbox users yes you can actually share files with those who are not using dropbox then you can also keep your files safe and collaborate with other clients and team members who are using Dropbox. Um, you can actually extend the capacity of your Dropbox storage to um, other packages that they have available. You can see this particular package they have plus package for individuals and their family package for household the plus package costs nine dollars 99 cents per month and um, the family package costs 16 dollars 99 cents per family per month so if you know that this two gigabyte storage space will not be enough for you you can actually go for their subscription it is it is okay all right the next platform i would like to show you is a very popular platform that is used by many people and that is the google drive yeah who doesn't have google accounts these days almost everyone has a google account and some people even have more than one google account some people have up to three four five yes it is actually true so if you are a google account user one of the things you are entitled to is a 15 gigabytes cloud storage space and you don't have to actually beg anyone before you can use it one of the ways you can use it is to come to drive.google dot com and before you actually move there make sure that you have already logged into your google account on your computer 
and immediately you do that you navigate to drive.google.com and then you'll be able to upload files and documents to your google drive folder and if you check the screen here you can see that i've already used like 3.41 gigabytes out of my own 15 gigabytes free storage on my google drive so google drive is available for every user of google account if you don't know how to open an account with google i made a tutorial on this particular topic sometimes ago you can see the link on the screen or you check the description box below you're gonna find the link to the tutorial there so go and create a google account right away and if you already have a google account you can navigate to drive.google.com to create your own storage space i mean to access your own storage space and the last but not the least platform i will be showing you today is telegram yeah telegram some of you are hearing it for the very first time and probably you do not know that you can actually store data on telegram you can store your files on telegram by the use of telegram channel simple way to do this is to create a telegram channel here is a telegram channel i created some time ago and the name is digital store and the amount of space that is allotted to each telegram channel is actually unlimited it may be difficult for you to believe but you can actually try it out it is unlimited the only limitation i can attribute to telegram channel is that you cannot organize your files and documents into folders on telegram channel and also you cannot upload a single file that is more than 1.5 gigabytes so those are the two limitations i know about telegram channel but among the advantages you can actually access the files anywhere on the earth so far you have your device and your internet connection and also you can share the saved files with other telegram users you can actually make your telegram channel a private or a public channel so having learned about the online storage devices that are free of charge what is stopping you from keeping your files online what is your fear about keeping your files and your documents online i'd like to hear from you you can use the comment section below to share your views and also i know this list is not exhaustive yet there are other platforms that people are using that i do not know about so is there any one you want me to add to the list or you want to tell people you can actually drop it on the comment section below thank you very much please give this video a like immediately you like it youtube will recommend it to other users who may be in need of it also thank you very much for watching this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get updates immediately i upload new videos thank you very much i will see you in another tutorial bye <laughs>